that we cannot fully trust. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Albrecht. Dear Chair, dear Commissioner Reding, dear Council, dear colleagues, dear audience, dear listening intelligence services. <laughs> yes, perhaps you, the NSA or the British intelligence, can explain to our governments on both sides of the Atlantic that mass surveillance of communication and the breach of fundamental rights and principles is not at all welcomed to, uh, of the people out there. For these people out there, this House, the European Parliament, is carrying the hopes to restore rule of law and the respect to fundamental rights. Because today, in a digitalized and globalized world, the protection of those values is strongly linked to information technology, the right to privacy and data protection is so essential. Major civil society groups from around the world, especially in Europe, in the US and in Latin America, have called on the European Parliament on the European Parliament to strengthen the protection of personal data and to put pressure on other states to agree on binding high standards. This, my dear friends, is the moment to act. I agree with Mr. Weber. We need to accelerate the negotiations on a strong EU data protection regulation and directive and we need to demand from our partners in the US to agree on those standards. We need to make sure that the massive breach of fundamental rights by the US, but especially also by our own member states, own authorities, has to stop immediately. As Greens, we welcome that the other groups have agreed on our request for an inquiry to those scandalous surveillance measures. But we don't think it's appropriate and responsible that you allow the negotiations on a transatlantic trade agreement to start with any assurance of the United States that they will stop spying on our citizens and institutions. First, we need standards, then we cooperate. Thank you very much. <coughs> Mr. Kirko. President, Minister, we talk about rules, procedures and conformity with EU law, yet I don't recall seeing in the treaties that the European Parliament was to be appointed as a judge, jury and executioner. I also must have missed the part of the...